Okay, guys, it is time for a new update here on the Bitcoin price. I can already tell you I have a new trade open that I want to talk about in today's video. I also announced that trade a couple of days ago in my free Discord community. But now, guys, let's talk about what we need to expect from the markets, what my game plan is, what new position I have just opened. And on top of that, guys, I for sure will always show you guys my last upload and ask you to leave a like, subscribe, activate the bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for that support. As you know, we talked about in my last video and this, it is already some time ago, we saw a massive, massive run within the last two weeks um, that we also took advantage of very, very nicely. I mean, in my last video, I was talking about a higher likelihood of us breaking to the downside, but this is, was just chart-wise and I also told you that in a bull run, sometimes we just see one bullish scenario after the other and that's why I was prepared to scale up my swing long positions as soon as we see a confirmed breakout out of our descending triangle, which we saw. We saw a bullish breakout, we saw a 4 hourly candle close close above our past old high point and with that confirmation I actually scaled up my swing long positions, which I also mentioned at the time when I did it in my free Discord community. But now, Let's talk about my current trade and let's talk about what we need to expect next from the price. Because how it's looking right now, we are seeing a rejection of our beautiful weekly and daily rising broadening wedge. And this is something that a lot of people are scared of at the moment. And I have to say that right now I am a little bit careful with my... Uh, swing long positions because we are seeing very very high funding rates and I can already tell you in the last bull run these kind of funding rates I only saw above the $50,000 level such a high long exposure level for all the people for the retail traders and also institutional traders that we had funding fees above the 005% level every eight hours which makes a 0.15% funding rate each and every single day is something that I haven't seen all too often in the cryptocurrency markets, only in very, very bullish cases where shortly after we actually saw a small reversal. So let's keep an eye on the funding fees. We need to look out for this to cool down before our next aggressive move to the upside can happen and is actually cooling down at the moment already. So people are opening short positions. And as you know, yes, I am also in a small short hedge position. Now we took some profits. I told you guys in my free Discord community, we took some profits here at the $37,000 level and we put that into a, a short hedge position. I will explain to you now in the charts why. We also want to use the Ethereum chart here in a second since on the smaller time frames, Bitcoin is not giving us a very clear picture that we normally would like to see. On the weekly time frame, it's looking like a rejection at the moment. But what we can see on the daily time frame, and this is why the picture on, on Bitcoin is a little bit unclear right now. We have mixed signals on the weekly, but also the daily. If we, for example, manage to buy back this candle, this daily candle today, uh, back above our uh, rising support and resistance here, this would actually be a bullish bounce. If we then actually close this daily candle above the $37,400 level, above our old low uh, high point before the confirmation, I mean, this would definitely be a scenario where we need to expect Bitcoin actually to immediately potentially reach prices of $40,000. So this is a scenario where I much rather would scale up my swing long positions again um, to make sure that I make enough profits also with my HODL portfolio, that I really don't need to care at all that I lose these $3,300 margin that we have now in here, this short hedge position, which is also only parts of profit that we took off our swing long position that we have been opening for months and months below the $20,000 level. As you know, if you're following my channel a little bit longer, we every every time we broke below the $20,000 level, every time we spent time below the $20,000 level, we use that to open up swing long positions with a 3 to 4x leverage. I have been saying that for I don't know how many months, I always said everything below $20,000 is for me a clear 3x, 4x swing long position open and even above that at $22,000, Dollars, we opened a couple swing long position on Phoenix and also on BitGet. So I just took a small amount of profits from them to open this short hedge position because on the long side, I will be exposed with a huge amount of profits anyways. If we are pumping now, I have my hotel portfolio, I have my swing long positions, I will really not mind being exposed to a, a small uh, um, short hedge position. But as I already said, not only the funding fees are a little bit an indicator for a, a, a small correction coming into the markets. No, I also am looking at Ethereum because as 
as said, Bitcoin is not giving us extremely clear signs. Ethereum is much more clear here at the moment because Ethereum didn't even manage to break above its horizontal support and resistance area yet. This is the first thing that we need to keep an eye on. Only Bitcoin is pumping aggressively since the people are expecting a Bitcoin ETF coming into the markets. The rest of the cryptocurrencies, besides Solana maybe and stuff, are lagging behind a little bit, especially Ethereum is lagging behind here compared to Bitcoin's performance because Bitcoin is already over 50% of its last all-time high. Ethereum is still not even close to the 50% level of its old all-time high at the $2,500 level. So Ethereum is clearly lagging behind here at the moment. And what is this showing us? This is showing us that not enough liquidity is flowing into the bit, uh, in the in the crypto markets right now at these current price levels that ethereum is able to keep up with bitcoin's pace so this shows us that a lot of people are only fomoing into bitcoin because they are expecting the approval of the bitcoin etf very very soon but since we are not speculating on an approval or a denial we are trading right we don't want to just get caught up in this speculation and that's why i opened a small short hedge position that i also announced 3 days ago in my private uh, in my private but free free Discord community that you can join, by the way, completely for free if you just click the link at the very top of the description. Make use of the leaderboard prizes. We have over $22,000 monthly to people that trade on BitGet and Femex and are active on the, in the community. Uh, the top people are getting thousands of dollars, actually, each and every single month just for being an active trader. So if you are a high volume trader, make use of that. And for all the people that don't have such high volumes, I mean, we also have prizes here, but we also have the lucky draws. Femex is giving out to 25 people that are just in the community active each and every single month, no matter if you trade with a lot of money or not, $200 in their future exchange token that is now already listing on the 30th of November. So make use of that this month because if this token, and we have a, a, a relatively nice market at the moment, if this market perf uh, is, if this token performs well, if we see a nice pump to uh, um, uh, to the to the launch now here with the Femex token, your $200 that you get for free could actually be $400, $500, whatever. I mean, it could be less also if the token doesn't launch all too uh, good. But if it does, I mean, it can be a very nice bonus. And even if the token price falls by 50%, it's still $100 free for you that you can either use to do a trade or you can stake in the Femex platform to receive reduced fees, opportunities for launchpad allocations, and a lot more that you can find out when you go here to the Femex Soul Pass and all that kind of stuff. So definitely make use of that. I can already tell you guys it is completely for free and you are just getting a lot of benefits on Femex through these tokens then. So make sure you keep an eye on that launch actually, not far away from us, just on the 30th of November now. But now let's jump back into the charts and talk about Ethereum. Ethereum is seeing, uh, yeah, is, is having a little bit of troubles, uh, troubles getting above here this horizontal support and resistance. But what is much more interesting is a very, very clear horizontal support and resistance line here on Ethereum at the moment. Because we have resistance here, we have resistance here, we have resistance here, we have resistance here. We saw a small fake out, but as you know, guys, a fake out is nothing but a confirmed breakout. What do we need to see for a confirmed breakout? I will explain it to you now. Again, I'm saying it in every single video, but I always expect new viewers coming in and I only, I, I really don't see anyone on YouTube explaining actually how you can spot a breakout if it is a legit breakout or just a fake out. So I'm just repeating myself in every single video. But okay, if we would see now a confirmation here of the $2,020 level for Ethereum, and we close the daily candle be above our old low uh, of above our old high point here this would be a confirmed breakout this means that after we saw a bounce and a breakout the bulls are in control because there is more capital coming in at even higher price levels than the initial breakout if we see something that is happening potentially right now in the ethereum chart which is also again proving that it was not a bad idea to open up here short hedge position for the potential rejection on the weekly time frame of our rising broadening wedge on Bitcoin. What we are seeing right now is we saw a breakout, a lot of volume coming in. We see a retest. It's getting bought up. But now, actually, after even after the retest, which would normally be the bullish confirmation, right? This would normally be the bullish confirmation. We don't see any interest from the Bitcoin bulls in buying these price levels a second time. And this is indicating weakness 
for the bulls. So this is not a confirmed breakout above this resistance. In the worst case now, Bitcoin is correcting a little bit, but especially Ethereum is falling below the $2,020 level once again. And this would be for me the confirmed scenario where I would know, okay, we are definitely seeing a rejection here on Bitcoin. We are seeing a failed breakout once again, like we saw here for Ethereum above its very important daily support and resistance. We saw a very, very aggressive sell-off actually uh, after that and after a, a, a bullish, a bearish confirmation here that the uh, support actually has turned into resistance again, we even saw more downside for Ethereum. So I will definitely want to be exposed, uh, exposed in a short hedge position right now, uh, which we also are, that I can potentially scale up as soon as we see a correction below here Ethereum's $2,020 level. If we close a daily candle below the $2,020 level, I will scale up this short position once again because I'm expecting lower prices for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum then to come in. But for now, I really have to say, guys, let's keep an eye on the charts. You exactly know what price levels I'm keeping an eye on. You exactly know when my short scenario here would get invalidated, when I would just take a loss on my short uh, hedge position. And this is if uh, Ethereum closes a daily candle above the 21,000 uh, the 21,000, the $2,120 level, boom, confirmed breakout. Bulls after the confirmed, uh, after the, the, the bounce are actually interested in buying these higher price levels. This is a very bullish indication. Same goes here for Bitcoin. We are breaking inside of our rising broadening wedge. We see a retest. We get bought up. So uh, people are interested in buying the price levels below the support. So this support is definitely valid. And on top of that, we see then that bulls are interested in buying actually even the price levels above our old high point. This would then mean that we need to expect higher prices for Bitcoin probably relatively um, uh, relatively um, quickly then of $40,000 or even above. So this is my current game plan. This is what I'm keeping an eye on. As said, I will scale up my long positions once again in a scenario uh, in the bullish scenario that I just explained and showed to you right here. And in the bearish scenario, I'm scaling up my short hedge position. I, I will update you tomorrow or in my day after's video where I will actually take profits of that short hedge position. And what am I going to do with these short hedge positions? I will, I will, uh, am I going to scale up my swing long positions or I will, uh, will I just put it into my uh, um, HODL portfolio? As always, I'm keeping you up to date upfront about everything I'm doing here in the cryptocurrency markets with my portfolio and also with my trades. Now, I hope you enjoyed. Smash up a like, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell, go to the video description down below, join CryptoMoto.io, make use of the XPT uh, on Femex. Now within this month, still we have two weeks where you can get all of this and make sure you make use of these massive rewards if you are a high volume trader since it is completely for free and on top of that you have a lot of information you can share your opinion with others in the discord and on top you have a huge amount of trading tutorials actually as well um, i would need to sign up here with my discord one second let me just sign in uh, really quickly so i can show you actually uh, boom you can go here to videos and yeah, you have here a huge amount, over 60 videos actually in German, over 57 videos in English about all kinds of different chart patterns and all kinds of different candle patterns actually as well. So if you are new to this whole thing, which I hope you are not, because my channel is a little bit more for people that are already familiar with trading. But if you're a little bit more uh, on the new side, you can make use of all these video tutorials here as well. But now, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell, leave a comment down below, and we are going to see us in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.